Okay, go ahead. Hi, everybody, and welcome to my channel. I am so happy that you could join me. I am doing something new and different, and I'm doing this by request. I had have some requests from some of the other ladies. Um, I am doing a series, a junk journal um, share on my collection of junk journals. So these are my personal journals that I have purchased. And I am doing it um, by person from greatest to least. So this episode, because I will have to do them in different episodes, um, is Paula Lemon. And so Paula is the greatest amount that I have bought from. And so, so far we have like 33. And I'm just going to pick them up and show you the front and the back because we don't want to take all night. So, I'm going to start over here. And here we have this beautiful tag. Um, JJ and I just I just loved her I just loved it it's so cute and so there's that one and then we have this travel um, junk journal and I added the charm but it also has this nice leaf and this one is a refillable one. And here, oh, this one's a chunker, is last year's Christmas one. And I really love this one. I love her boho beads, is what she calls them. Some people call them multimedia beads. And then here is a hardcover, and this is her version of kind of like Nick the Booksmith, but she just did it on her own out of watching a tutorial, and she did an amazing job. Very sturdy um, spine, this is. This is the biggest one of the collection. This is an Ethan Holden junk journal, and I'm just gonna quickly show you inside this one. So, oh, let me, that's the spine and the back. I just love the fabric, but yeah. So this is an Ethan Holden, and so that's what it looks like inside. And these are full pages of Ethan Holden. Um, from her book and so you, you got some and so yeah this is my biggest one lots of journal um, room so I just yeah and then there's a boho bead there so this is my biggest one not my fattest my biggest and so here this is gorgeous. This is a, called a, this is all lace. She did an all lace journal for me. And I just absolutely love it. And then here is a sh shabby chic journal. This is one of my fav favorites. She smushed down a canning jar lid and used it as a frame. Now, how cool is that? That is pretty nifty. So this is one of my favorites. This one is another, I mean, I just, I don't, I just love them all. I, I really do. It's, it's really hard to 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 pick. And 
and this is a hard one. This is when the buttons came out. I love buttons. I love that look. So she did it for me. And this is my second favorite. This is a quilted shabby chic. Yeah, this is a quilt. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so then we come to this one. Another shabby chic. And this one had a tag in the back in the bag. And so here we have a pretty little flower. And I love this. This is gorgeous. And this Pull the table closer to me, straining my back. Um, is one of her big chunky Tim Holtz, and I love these three. I just love this. This is gorgeous. Now, I did have a second Tim Holtz that was like this, but I gifted it to a friend for Christmas. So. Um, yeah, I'm down one because I gifted that, but that's okay. Here's another one of those hard covers. And I just love this Ethan Holden page. And here's a boho. I love this vintage lace that Paula would use. She's out of it now, but probably use it all up on mine I don't know <laughs> and here's a TN I just I love the it's upholstery she used upholstery on that here's another fatty she put lots of tabs I, and I just love the paper. So this one is a hard one. And my... Almost ripped my butterfly off there. I'd have been sad. This is a Tim Holtz. This is a big one. I love the way she put this on here. That is so cute. And actually, I have... A, a mini tidbit one with the same um, fabric oh. and that's just a tidbit um, closure here's another one of my favorites because I absolutely love this pink fabric and she put a pretty um, I always put tassel on it. And then I just got recently this, she started making her own little flowers here this summer. Um, I got this back in June. It's my sunflower journal. I just think it's so pretty. Now, we had the biggest one, which was this, this one. Now, my chunkiest one, which is new. Now, isn't this gorgeous? Look how chunky that is. And this is upholstery, too. And it's so squishy. I just love it. She did wonderful on this. So this is my fattest, and they're all fat, believe me. So 
and we're coming up this way. This is a gorgeous one. They're all gorgeous. I just, I can't say it enough. They're just all gorgeous. And she's a, she's a chunker. She's a chunker. She put tabs on there. And this is one of her leather ones that she makes. And there's that beautiful lace again. And I just love this. I got I got many of these like this. And then this is my coffee journal. Now how cool is this cover? I just love this picture that she picked and all the flowers around it. And then she put Matt's upholstery too. That just cheers me up. <laughs> uh, and so here's a Tim Holtz. I love this. This is a, a little tan. Love it, love it, love it. I love the, she took the closure. This is late, um, some kind of little, some lace. And then this is a paper clip and she just tied it around that and brought it over and then tied it in a bow. Now this is a very unique one that I just got and I'm going to be trying it. This is a, my great big, I love this button, is um, made out of one of those green File, those drop files that you put in the filing cabinet that have the wire in them and they hang that is what this is made out of and it's just darling and then this on here this is wallpaper she used wallpaper to cover it this is last year's autumn journal and that is just gorgeous I just love the way she did the word and she put all that shiny stuff on it. And then here's another TN with the upholstery. And then we have a baby journal these this is made in these are dandelions I had to ask her what those actually were I didn't just want to assume and then here we have she made me a clutch bag with this beautiful journal in it And let me show you this bag. It is like totally awesome. Look, get a load of that. That is just beautiful. Okay, so last but not least are my bag journals. Oh, let me show you, I got one more TN. This is another TN, and this is just hard cardstock card she used. And she put a little bow. I just love this. I just think this is adorable. Now, these are the bag journals that Paula was making like last summer. And I got three of them. Isn't that just gorgeous? And then inside, this is the one that I'm currently using, as you can tell, because it's untied. You get a little leather bound journal. And so each of these have a journal in them. So that's that one. Ooh. 
look at that. That is just wow. So much detail. Oodles and oodles. Look at this. This is part of a wedding dress. And I just think, look at the detail. I love that. And one more. Look at that. These are just gorgeous. She did a lot of these last year. And she had so many orders on these. It was crazy. But they're beautiful. So, for this episode, this is the most from one person that I bought from. Now, we're talking about in between two to three hundred journals do I have. And these are all just from Paula. So, on episode two, I will be doing who's second in line of the most that I have from what shop. So, stay tuned for that. And it will be coming up in a day or so. Thank you for taking the time to view this chan, um, my this um, journal, my sharing of journals. I just had a request, and I thought, well, that's unique. Nobody's ever done that before, and they were really interested in seeing my collection. Um, if you have not subscribed to my um, page, please take time to subscribe and hit the bell. And please share comments. I love feedback. And um, until um, next video, I will see you guys later. Thank you.